Hello, I'm Lisa Goddard, and you're watching NBTV. It's a lovely Lisa Goddard. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What I know. Yeah, so um, I, no. used to, I used to love the Ice Maiden. So did I. I mean, what a fantastic part. <laughs> what a great part. And to go to Jersey and film yeah. it. I mean, it was like a little holiday every year. Uh -huh. But you were only in it every now and again. You weren't yeah. kind of regular, but you popped up now Just and again. Up so. Once a year, yeah. Sold a few jewels here and there yeah. and, and stuff. So. Flirted with uh, the lovely John Nettles and left again. Great. All oh, right, right. Great. So it was pretty right good to do then. Yes, yeah. it was wonderful. One of the highlights of my career, I think. All oh, right. But of course, you've been in so much. I mean, you've been on our TV screens from the 1960s right up until today. I mean, That's you've right. been in a whole range of sitcoms and stuff. What's been your favourites? Um, well, I think Take Through It Girls, because mm. that sort of launched my career here. Skippy, of course. Yes, yes. Skippy. Um, and Bergerac. Yeah. And Wolf. Yes, the boy turns of into course, the yes. Uh, so those are, I think, my favourite TVs. Uh, working with, um, doing various films, working with Richard Burton. That what was, was one Richard of the Burton like? Fantastic. He yeah. was fantastic. You want to know why he was a major star? He, he d charisma oozed off him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was just an extraordinary man. So charming. Uh -huh. Delightful. And was he with Liz Taylor at the time? Or was no, it, he no, wasn't, he wasn't. No, he was one of <laughs> was Towards the end of his life. All right, right. He was right. just enchanting. All right. Great stuff. And of course, give us a clue as well. I still, know. You must still get I asked about that all the time. Yes. And it's such a shame it stopped. I think it could have gone on forever. And I think it's one of those shows that people adore because there's no, no, no prizes. Yeah. And it was yeah. just. In those days, of course, there wasn't so much the cult of celebrity. And so mm. what it was was well-known people making fools of themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it was just wonderful. <laughs> and everyone enjoyed being on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I know you mentioned uh, Skippy there. That was kind of way back at the start of your career. Because you were a child actress, weren't you? Oh, yes, I was in Skippy. Yes. I was and Skippy's friend. How did you land the part in Skippy? Well, I, d I was already working. I'd, I, we went to live in Australia, and I started working in the theatre, and then I did some TV and things. And I went along for a part in this show, and I didn't know what it was I wanted in, you know. And they said, would like to play the girl, do this thing. And it was supposed to be six episodes. Right. And then it was so, they realized they had a hit. So they went on and filmed 92 episodes in two years. Oh my gosh, mm. right. OK, so you were very young then. Now, your dad was a TV producer. That's right. Isn't that correct? Now, yeah. did he want you to go into acting and stuff? Or was he one of, the, one of these parents who says, no, I've worked in the business. No, don't do it, don't do well, it. Well, he didn't want me to be a child. I wanted to act since I was six. But he didn't right. want me to do it when I was a child. He said, no, you've got to have an education, you know. Right, yes. So, <laughs> um, so he, but he was very, very supportive once I went into business. All right, okay. And um, other stuff as well. You've done Doctor Who. Yeah. As well. Yes, with Peter Davison. Yes. I was the, I was a space ranger, the most incompetent space ranger in the world. Every time I drew my gun, my <laughs> the end of my gun fell off. <laughs> Was it that? Well, were the sets kind of falling to pieces around you? No, it was you? brilliant. No, was it, we yeah. had a set which was pretty like the alien ship, you know, the, the yes. prison ship. Uh -huh. yeah. Long before that, and I think they probably took it from right. Yeah. So we had this spaceship, and it was a marvellous set, enormous set all over the studio. And we had a great big monster, played by R.J. Bell, and he was in his rubber monster suit, and he used to sweat through his claws because uh -huh. he was so boiling in his suit, and occasionally he would keel over faint because he <laughs> was so hot. So he used to have to take his head off and put him outside to cool down. <laughs> then bring it in, you could see where he'd been because all these spots of sweat all over the painted floor. And we also had a lot of lepers in ours, yeah. which was very good. When we, went, when we all went to the canteen, the lepers and the, and the monster and me and the Space Ranger outfit, it was fantastic. <laughs> Such fun to do. I don't think I've ever laughed so much in my life as doing oh, that. Right. And have you seen the new series of Doctor Who? I think Who it's marvellous. Do you? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he's great. I think the scripts are fantastic. So funny. Well, wonderful writer, of course. Yes, yeah. And uh, I love it. And I think she's marvellous. Little Billy Piper. Yeah, I didn't, Piper, yeah. didn't expect to. I thought, oh, she'll be terrible. Yes, yeah. Isn't that awful? I had so many prejudices. <laughs> and then, of course, I thought, well, you're marvellous. Yeah. She's marvellous. And uh, talking about Doctor Who, you married a Doctor Who as well, I did. didn't yes, you? Yes, very briefly. Yeah, right, <laughs> okay. But yes, absolutely. Colin Baker. Yeah, yeah. but he weren't, we weren't married when he was Doctor Who. That was, right. Yeah, I was before Doc I was pre Doctor Who days. All right, okay. And then Alvin Stardust yeah. came along as well, and yeah. you were married to him. Yes, yeah, and had a daughter. For a little Sophie. while, yeah. Uh -huh. And of course, I mean, living that life when, when you're a celebrity couple, it must have been difficult living with the press and stuff and reading about yourselves in the papers. And that well, kind you know, of it thing. wasn't as bad. And nowadays, yeah. I think it must be awful, but it wasn't really intrusive in those days. Right. It yeah. hardly was. It was only if you went to where the press were. So if you went to first nights or a special thing, yes, then you'd be. Yeah. Otherwise, you lived a completely ordinary life. You didn't yeah. have to have bars at the windows or security guards or any of these things that people seem to have now. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> so, no, I've always led a completely ordinary life, really. Okay, so you're in Belfast at the minute, you're in high society. Hi, you've hi, been... hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been touring on that for a few months now, haven't you? Yeah. Are you fed up yet? No, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's my first musical. 
Right. And I now see why people stay in musicals for years and years, because it's just thrilling. So no matter how you're feeling, if you had a long day going to the Giant's Causeway and wearing us in Bushmills and wearing yourselves out, you come in and then you say, oh, and you stand <laughs> at the side of the stage and then the band strikes up. Yeah. And you just think, oh, and your spirits are lifted and the show goes in a flash. All right. It's right. really wonderful. I love it. That's my first and I think it's just great. Okay. But of course, you've done, you've done loads of theatre stuff over the years as well. Do you prefer doing theatre or television? I like to do both, and I've always yeah. done both, so I'm, I've been very fortunate in doing both. But the thing about theatre is the better parts, yeah. especially for Lady of My Mature Years. <laughs> so, like Oscar Wilde and Alan Bennett mm -hmm. and Somerset Maugham, right, wrote fantastic parts for the, I say, the more mature woman, whereas modern writers tend not to. All oh, right, yes, yeah. And so television, certainly, they're not interested in mature women at all, and the, even though we make up, I think, the bulk of the viewing audience. Yes, yes. Now, you've been in many, many sitcoms over yeah. the years as well, a whole, whole load of them. What do you think of sitcoms today, say, compared with the sitcoms of the 70s and 80s? Well, I think, unfortunately, most of them are very badly written. Mm, yeah. uh, it always comes in the script, always. Yes, if you've got yeah. a great script, because we've got so much talent in this country, you can put Peter, almost anyone in a great script. Mm -hmm. uh, Find they're any good, but there are lots of good actors around, and I think um, the fault is that the, it's, in a way, celebrity-led that they think, oh, he or she is wonderful. Let's put them in this old rubbish, and anyone will right, watch it. Yes, well, I think yes. that's an enormous mistake. Yes. What you've got to do is have a fabulous script. Back to the old days, where you have a fabulous script, and then you cast it. Yes, There's a yes. lot of very good people around. Um, I think it's changing. I really mm -hmm. do. I think thanks to The Office and yes, Little Britain yes. and things, which is script-led, yeah. and that none of those were well known before. Yeah. And I think that therefore is people are going to think, ah, oh, ah, oh, maybe we need to, you know, go back to the old ways of doing it. Start with a good script. Yeah. As an actress, is there any kind of female role that you would really love to play that you haven't had a chance to? Well, I've always said I wanted to play Lady Brown, but I've done that now. All right. Thanks. Um, uh, what do I want to play? I want to play Madame Arcati. All right. And uh, Mrs. Malaprop. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. And would you do more musicals now? You yes. High society, yes. Yeah? <laughs> I love it. The singing and dancing at the same time is incredibly difficult. Right. It took me a long time to get, get it. I thought, I'm never going to get this. And then suddenly, one day you do, and it's just heaven. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, hopefully. All right. So once you finish here in Belfast, where are you off to next? Edinburgh. All right, okay. So we fly from here on Sunday, um, which is another great city. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so we do go to wonderful places. I say, although it's horrible not leaving home, mm -hmm. it's Going to such beautiful places here and Edinburgh and uh, Newcastle, mm -hmm. um, it's great. All right. Now you mentioned uh, working with Richard Burton and, uh, earlier on. Is there anybody else in the world you would love to work with? Steve Martin. Yeah. I think he's just fantastic. But he's made some rubbish recently, so he has, hasn't he? Maybe he needs me to work with him. So <laughs> just like this here. But I just think he's just brilliant, yeah, genius. Yeah, so that's yeah. who I'd like to work. With. Or maybe Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Yes, yeah. yes. I could see you in a Woody Allen film, actually. Yes, maybe I have to give him a ring when he's here. I think you should. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Woody, darling. I can sing and dance at the same time. <laughs> well, anyway, I was searching through the internet oh, earlier yeah. on today, yeah. so I was. And the Google search thing is a great thing because you yeah. find out all kinds of things. Yeah. So let me tell you about some of my findings okay. that I found earlier on today on the internet. Now, what do you have in common with, let's see, with Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, Emma Bunton, Hillary Clinton, Julie Walters, Madonna, Margaret Thatcher, Ruby Wax, and Sharon Stone. If you hadn't said Ruby Wax, I'd have said what, we're all blondes. Um, good heaven, I have no idea. You all feature on the same website. Okay. Really? That this is a bizarre. <laughs> Me and Hillary like that. Website. <laughs> That's what it is. I've got her room. <laughs> you feature on a website called Spanked Celebrities. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> you all feature on this website. I don't know how anybody in the world has had the time to do this, but I've looked through interviews with every female star that's ever been done, and if they've mentioned the same word <laughs> in their interview about being spanked by somebody, it's on the website. <laughs> so, oh, fantastic. so you're on there. I'm in great company. You were on there. So, do you know what story they no, tell? No, I have no idea. You apparently said in an interview one time when you were a little girl about going to a, a Catholic school. Oh, nuns. You yes. And about the nuns and the priests would have yeah. spanked you for not going to church. Absolutely. So you didn't go true. to Mass on Sunday. <laughs> you got whacked on Monday. Absolutely. So there you go. Oh, how funny. So, <laughs> you're on that website. Oh, wow. OK, now the other <laughs> website that you're on as well, you're on a smoking website. 
<laughs> the celebrity <laughs> smokers. Oh dear. Right now, it does say on it that you have quit. Yeah. Have you quit the cigarettes? Yes, I, just occasionally. I, I smoke other people's. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no doubt. But Can't somebody. Can't do anything in this life anymore. Somebody who Big once worked with you <laughs> posted a thing on this website to say that they actually caught you smoking in 1970, right, in Israel, filming the brothers. Well, <laughs> how extraordinary. I was, we weren't actually filming. We were there to do a show because the Brothers was the most mm -hmm. popular show in Israel at the time. Yeah. It was the only program that Moshe Dayan ever watched. And we right. met all these high-ranking people. We went to Israel and just did the sort of evening events. Well, I probably was caught behind the bike shed. <laughs> I usually am. <laughs> Called the closet smoker. There you go. And then it says at the bottom you smoked in Take Three Girls as well. Yeah, did I? I can't remember that at all. <laughs> well, well, there we are. So there you go. And one final website. You're on a website called MrSkin.com as well. Yes. Heavens above. That, what uh, is this? Checks out <laughs> female celebrities who's got their kit off. Oh, heavens. And it claims on the website that you once got your kit off in a thing with Dick Emery. That's right, called Who You Are Awful. Yeah. And Bergerac. All right, right, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's your, well, your free good. website. <laughs> Can't do anything anymore in this life, I think. <laughs> All the old past coming up to hit you in the face. <laughs> oh, how funny, Mr. Skin. Dot com. Funny. Yes. Now, I was once picked up by Popbitch. Dot com. Right. Quite scary. I was with Robert Powell. We were working. We were in Edinburgh. Yeah. And we'd gone, we'd been to see the Britannia, and we'd gone into that big shopping centre. My son yes. ran me and said, on Popbitch, it says, Lisa Goddard and Robert Powell are together in the shopping centre in Edinburgh. We'd only walked in two yeah. five minutes before, yeah. and it was really, <laughs> we, we were quite unnerved. <laughs> <laughs> we were just working together. Yes. Yes. Okay. So anyway, once you finish in high society, what is next for you? Uh, unemployment. Really? Yes. Every time I finish a job, I think that's it. I'm never going to work again. Yeah. So I go home to being a granny. Right. So I'm back to being a can't granny. Can't believe you're a granny. I am a granny. Oh yeah. I can't believe. Yes. That. That. Oh, my God. My delight. My love of my life. My, Adelaide, who's five. Right, okay. So I go back to her. And then I'm doing Panto at Christmas in Guildford. All oh, right, who are you playing in Panto? Fairy, of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm usually known as the glitter lout because I hurl glitter everywhere. Yeah. I do love, I love being fairy. All right. It's yeah. a great job. All right, great stuff. Well, good luck with the rest of your tour of high society. Thank you. Good luck with playing the fairy. <laughs> it's been lovely meeting you. And you. So Thank nice. you so much. Thank you.